Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For the text version of this quiz, please install GK Today Academy app. The link is given in the description box. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. Now we have started a new channel, Civil Academy. So, you can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. Which Indian vaccine maker is to begin trials of the COVID-19 vaccine candidate that has been developed by Oxford University, AstraZeneca. So, SIA, that is Serum Institute of India, is going to work on this vaccine. And this vaccine has been developed by the Oxford University in collaboration with AstraZeneca. Serum Institute of India is in Pune. Pune is in Maharashtra. Presently, Adar Punawala is the CEO of the Serum Institute of India. Now, Pune was also in news as it is the host of 108th Indian Science Congress and this is going to be in 2021. Maharashtra was in news because of Project Platina. Which Indian origin nurse has been conferred with the Singapore President's Award for COVID-19 services? So she is Kala Narayan Swami and she was in news because she has been conferred with the President's Award for Nurses and she is Indian origin nurse in Singapore. Now recently Singapore was in news as elections held in Singapore and Lee Hussein Long got re-elected as the Prime Minister. His party is People's Action Party. Singapore was also in news as it was the host of World Cities Summit and this was the 7th edition. Which Indian public sector bank has launched Insta Click Saving account? So this has been announced by BOB that is Bank of Baroda. That means now the user can start an account online. And the process uses a new form of KYC and it is going to be digital KYC. What is KYC? It is know your customer. So with the help of Aadhaar, the information is provided and customer can access the bank's website to open this account. What is the corpus of foreign investment attracted by India during the COVID-19 lockdown as stated by the Prime Minister of India in India Ideas Summit? So as per Prime Minister's statement, we attracted over 20 billion dollars foreign investment during this lockdown time and it was stated by the Prime Minister during India Ideas Summit. So it is a summit organized by US IBC that is United States India Business Council. Now in terms of investment recently UNCTAD released a report and as per this report India is on ninth position in terms of FDI that is foreign direct investment and India attracted 51 billion dollars of investment in 2019. In 2018, India was on 12th position. The name of the report is World Investment Report. Now coming back to US IBC. So this is a council to promote business between India and USA. Recently USA was in news because of NDAA that is National Defense Authorization Act. Which country has launched a new Jet Zero Council to tackle the aviation emissions? So this has been announced by UK. It is important to note that UK has set the target of net zero emission by 2050. Recently UK was also in news because of vaccine summit. So it was the host of vaccine summit. UK was also in news as India became the second largest source of FDI in UK. USA is the largest source of FDI in UK. UK was also in news as recently India became the second largest foreign investor in UK. USA is the largest foreign investor in UK. UK was also in news because of Nikhil Rathi. So recently Nikhil Rathi was appointed as the new head of FCA that is Financial Conduct Authority. Now in the context of Global Vaccine Summit, there is a term Gavi. Answer in comment box what is Gavi? Which country has been ordered to close its consulate in Houston by the USA. So recently China was ordered to close its consulate in Houston. Now China was also in news as recently it launched Tianwen 1. So it is China's mission on Mars. Recently UAE also launched its mission on Mars and it is Hope Probe. UAE was also in news as it is the host of IPL this year and this Hope Probe was launched from Japan. WADA has extended the suspension of National Dope Testing Laboratory of which country? Right answer is India. So NDTL that is National Dope Testing Laboratory of India 
was in news as WADA has extended the suspension of NDTL by another six months. Now, why NDTL was suspended? It was suspended due to non-compliance to the international standards. WADA is World Anti-Doping Agency. And the headquarters of WADA is in Canada. Recently, Canada was in news because of USMCA. So, it is a trade agreement between United States, Mexico and Canada and it became effective from 1st of July. It is a successor of NAFTA. Canada was also in news because of extradition treaty with Hong Kong. As recently, Canada decided to suspend the extradition treaty with Hong Kong. Apart from Canada, recently Australia also decided to suspend this extradition treaty with Hong Kong. Grand Renasa Dam, which was in news recently, is located in which country? So this is a dam in Ethiopia. That means Ethiopia is working on this hydroelectric power plant and this dam was formerly known as Millennium Dam and this dam is on Blue Nile River and because of this dam there is a conflict between Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan. Now recently these three countries have resumed talks on this dam and that's why it was in news. So the name of the river is Blue Nile River. It is being constructed by Ethiopia. It is having issues with Sudan and Egypt and the previous name of this dam is Millennium Dam. Which Bollywood personality has launched an online platform called Pravasi Rozgar? So it has been launched by Sonu Sood. Name of the platform is Pravasi Rozgar. It has been launched by Sonu Sood. Why it has been launched? To help the migrants to find suitable job opportunities. Who is the winner of Australian 2020 Miles Franklin Literary Award? So she is Tara June Winch and she is Australian writer and she has won this prestigious Miles Franklin Literary Award and she has won this award for her book titled The Yield. Now Australia was also in news as Australia and New Zealand are the host of FIFA Women's World Cup in 2023 while the Men's World Cup is going to be in Qatar. Capital of Qatar is Doha. Recently Doha was in news because of US Taliban deal. Taliban is a militant group of Afghanistan. Which Indian bureaucrat has been appointed as the honorary advisor to the steering committee of BRICS CCI Young Leaders? So, recently IES officer Tina Dabi was appointed as the honorary advisor to the steering committee for BRICS CCI Young Leaders. Apart from her, recently Sahil Seth was appointed as honorary advisor to the BRICS CCI. What is CCI? It is Chamber of Commerce and Industry. What is BRICS? It is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The first summit of BRICS held in 2009 in Russia and this year that means in 2020 it was supposed to be in Russia itself however it was postponed due to COVID-19 and next summit is going to be in India. So this one is 12th summit and in India it is going to be the 13th summit. What is the name of award-winning Spanish novelist who has passed away recently? So the name is Juan Marce. So he was well-known Spanish novelist. Capital of Spain is Madrid and it was in news as it was a host of COP25. COP stands for Conference of Parties. So it was organized in Spain under the presidency of Chile government. And this COP25 is also known as Blue COP. So this COP25 held in Spain while COP26 is scheduled to be in Glasgow. What is the name of online clinical program? launched by AIMS Health Ministry and Niti Ayo. So the name of this program is National Clinical Grand Rounds and for this three organizations collaborated that is AIMS Health Ministry and Niti Ayo. Now present AIMS director is Dr. Randeep Guleria. AIMS was also in news as recently largest OPD in India was inaugurated in AIMS Delhi and this is named after Rajkumari Amrit Kaur. Answer in comment box who was Rajkumari Amrit Kaur? OPD stands for Outpatient Department. So these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Now we are going to cover important news. Feel free to skip it at your own risk if you do not like the format. But please make sure that you cover these news from other sources because these are important from exam. An examiner will not hesitate by thinking that you do not like the format. Okay. So first news is related to ISA that is International Solar Alliance. Why it was in news? Because recently Nicaragua became the 87th country to sign ISA that is International Solar Alliance. 
and its headquarter is in Gurugram in Haryana. Nicaragua is a Central American country. Next is National Broadcasting Day, so it is celebrated on 23rd of July. Next is Amazon Pay Echo. So recently these two tied up to sell the auto insurance. Next is FSR that is Financial Stability Report. So recently RBI released this report. RBI is our central bank that is Reserve Bank of India. Next is Riva Ganguly Das. So India's High Commissioner to Bangladesh, Riva Ganguly Das has now been appointed as the Secretary in MEA that is Ministry of External Affairs. Present Minister is Ash Jayashankar and he is Rajya Sabha member from Gujarat. Next is INSET exam. So MHRD that is Ministry of Human Resource Development is conducting the first ever INSET that is Indian Scholastic Assessment Test. So this INSET is a scholarship test and it will be conducted under Study in India program. That means those who want to study in India can take part in this scholarship test conducted by India. And this online test will be conducted by NTA that is National Testing Agency. And this National Testing Agency is under MHRD. Next is India's first in-orbit space debris monitoring and tracking system. So recently the system was in use as a space startup called Digantara has developed India's first in-orbit space debris monitoring and tracking system and it works on LIDAR that is light detection and ranging technology. Next is COVAX Alliance. So recently India has expressed its interest in joining this COVAX Alliance and this is an alliance to make the COVID-19 vaccine accessible to all countries and this alliance is co-led by Gavi, CEPI and WHO. Now please read about these terms. This is your homework that is Gavi and CEPI. In our previous lectures, we have already covered these terms. Next is Halo Archia. So recently this was in news because the color of Lonar Lake in Maharashtra was changing because of these microbes. So this Lonar Lake is in Maharashtra and recently it was in news because its color changed pink and this pink color was because of these microbes. Next is KPCL Adani Ports. So recently CCI that is Competition Commission of India approved the acquisition of KPCIL by Adani Ports. Next is National Transit Pass System Portal. So recently Environment Minister Mr. Prakash Javadikar launched this National Transit Pass System for the seamless movement of forest products such as timber, bamboo. Next is General Financial Rules 2017. So recently these rules were in use as government amended these rules to impose restrictions on the public procurement from the countries that share land border boundary with our country. So after the amendment in these rules, now there are restrictions on the countries which share land border boundary with India. Next is world's first green Ramayana park. So recently this park was in news and it is in Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand was also in news as India's first lichen park was also started in Uttarakhand. Next is microfinance institutions network. So recently Alok Mishra was appointed as the new CEO and director of microfinance institutions network. Next is Airtel Payment Bank NSDC. So recently these two collaborated to train rural youth. What is NSDC? It is National Skill Development Corporation. Next is WTO that is World Trade Organization. So recently Turkmenistan got the observer status in WTO. It is important to note that Turkmenistan is also in use because of TAPI and Turkmenistan is not a member of SCO. It is one country in those five Central Asian countries which is not the member of SCO. SCO is Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Answer in comment box what is TAPI. Next is Azimala Kerala. So it was in use because the largest solar power plant at INA that is Indian Naval Academy in Azimala in Kerala has been commissioned. So this power plant is the largest solar power plant at INA that is Indian Naval Academy. Next is smart wristband to track COVID-19 patients. So recently AIMS Nagpur has developed these smart bands to track COVID-19 patients. Next is Swami Fund. So the full form is special window for affordable and mid-income housing. So recently the Swami Fund was in use as over 80 housing projects will get funding from this Swami Fund. So it is related to housing projects. Next is Permanent Commission. So recently Defense Ministry issued notification granting permanent commission to the women and the notification 
grants permanent commission to the women officers in 10 streams in indian army and last news is related to global forest resource assessment so it is a report by fao that is food and agriculture organization and as per this india is on third position and india is among the top 10 countries that have gained in the forest areas in last decade the headquarters of fao is in rome in italy so that was all for the day thank you